Hey guys and welcome to another digital cash stuff in. Do you wanna do you wanna come along with me? Come along with me. Do you wanna got a total of 407 pounds 28 pence as my available cash but i'll be distributing 401 pounds 60 pence to various jars so the app that i'm using is called hyperjar it's the replacement i've been using since ping it gave notice that they'll no longer be around so here we go the first category i'm going to top up is my petrol category so I'm going to scroll down to the petrol and I am going to top up 80 pounds which is what I budgeted And then I'm going to head into my sinking fund category for back to school. So I just need to find that category. There we go, right at the top. And that one gets a hundred pounds. So we've got school uniform and a whole bunch of stuff to buy. So that's all done. The next sinking fund category I'll be doing is my road tax because that's due sometime in December and I'm giving that amount £7. So by the time it's due for its renewal, I'll have the £40 ready. It's usually 30 but I don't know if they're going to change it due to inflation. So I decided to put an extra £10, which is fine by me. All right. So the next category we're going to top up is school fees, which is £83. Our next envelope is Kaylan and Kaylan gets £50. And as you could see, it's added all of the jars that I've got money as well. But we're sticking to the wallet because that's the jar we're topping up from. So last but not least, we'll be topping up our grocery jar. It's got 368 in it at the moment. All right. So I'm just going to top that up. And that's going to be 60. And actually, that's not the last jar. The last jar is our eating out jar so just need to find that there we go and we need to add 2160 to that and we are going to click next and we've got two pounds left over in our wallet <laughs> Okay, Ikea. And that £2, what I think I'm going to do with the £2 is add it to, let's see where we could add it. 
we'll put it into the unbudgeted miscellaneous okay so we'll put the two pounds there because you always need to buy something and also what I'm going to do as well I just realized I did something silly I'm going to add the 368 from the groceries I'll add that to the miscellaneous as well you don't need to do this but i know something will eventually come up so at least i know i've got 568 in that account so you know i could sort of cover any unexpected costs for around that price so the total cash is still 407 but i've distributed everything into the relevant jars kaylan's birthday got nothing kaylan's birthday is coming up on the 13th of July but I'm just gonna have to figure something out for that because being so fixated on paying off my debt sometimes I overlook other things not intentionally but it happens but I did get some money back so I will put a bit of money towards his little birthday thing so he could get like you know some food for a little meal and get some balloons and whatnot for his birthday you know so we'll see how that pans out. But everything else is pretty much zero until the next um, top up. Which should be pretty soon. So that's it. Just to show you guys my little envelopes here. So school fees, petrol, unbudgeted, K-Line, back to school, eating out, road tax, groceries, and I'm so glad that I took the plunge and start putting the money aside for back to school because Kaylan's last day at school is 9th of July and then they go back to school the last week in August, I think, or the week before, I can't remember. So I want to make sure that I've got his money set aside for his school stuff because as a single low income mom, I don't want to be fuffing around. And not being able to get my child new uniforms, his new school shoes, his new backpack and stuff like that. So I want to make sure that I'm prepared a month ahead before this happens. Well, two months ahead actually. Because this money is from June's paycheck if that makes sense. So I use my end of month salary for the month of June to pay for July's and then I use July's to pay for August I've explained this before so that's sort of what I do and this concludes our digital cash envelope stuffing guys I will be back to stuff a bit more probably before the month ends but I am going to Ikea today because we need to pick up a few bits and like I said I did get some money back so I've invested some of that money personal investments that is and I am using some of it to get some bits that we need for the home. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. It really does help our channel out by getting it recognized by other new viewers and driving a bit of traffic over onto this platform. Don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Leave a comment below to let me know if you've started your thinking funds journey. Have you started using Hyperjar? How do you like it? Etc. Etc. See you guys soon. Bye. Wanna shake the ground? Wanna break away? Let loose. I'm tired of waiting. Gonna make.